Good evening, Empire Oak students. Thank you for joining me for Sunday Stories. So it is the month of November, and for November, we are actually focused on the character trait of um, serving others. So service-oriented, service leadership, things like that, and thinking about how we can help other people. Um, I know in November, we're often focused on gratitude and Thanksgiving, and that's wonderful too. So I would encourage you to to do that as well. Um, but tonight's story has to do with um, helping others and taking care of our friends. Are you about to fall off the couch? Come here, silly. He's gonna fall off the couch. Um, so I want you to think about that as we read tonight's story. It's called A Sick Day for Amos McGee, and this is written by Philip C. Stead, illustrated by Aaron E. Stead, and I wonder if they're related. They have the same last name. Um, but this is a wonderful story about friendship and taking care of our friends and uh, serving them. So think about that as I read it. A sick day for Amos McGee. What you doing? Huh? Are you going to lay down and enjoy the story? Lay down, Bubba. All right. Here we go. Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning when the alarm clock changed, he swung his legs out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. He would wind his watch and set a pot of water to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my teacup. Belly full and ready for the work day, he'd amble out the door. Every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Next stop, City Zoo, the bus driver would call. 6 a.m., right on time, he'd reply. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo, but he always made time to visit his good friends. He would play chess with the elephant, who thought and thought before making a move, run races with the tortoise, who never lost, sit quietly with the penguin, who was very shy, lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros, who always had a runny nose, and at sunset, read stories to the owl, who was afraid of the dark. One day, Amos awoke with the sniffles and the sneezes and the chills. He swung his achy legs out of bed, curled them back again and said, ugh, I don't think I'll be going to work today. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat patiently all by himself. The rhinoceros worried that his allergies were worsening. The owl perched atop a tall stack of storybooks, scratching his head with concern. Where is Amos? The animals wondered. Later that day, what are they doing? Can you see what that is right there? Okay, waiting for the bus. You see how there aren't any words on this page, but the pictures are telling us the story. Hooray, my good friends are here. How do you think Amos feels? The elephant prepared a game of chess. 
Amos thought and thought before making a move. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell and Amos hid beneath the covers. Amos yawned. I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos's feet warm. Achoo! Amos awoke with a sneeze. The rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief. I'm beginning to feel much better. Thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said good night to the elephant and good night to the tortoise and good night to the penguin and good night to the rhinoceros and good night to the owl who, knowing that Amos was afraid of the dark, read a story aloud before turning out the light. So that's a sick day for Amos McGee. Again, a great story about friendship and how we take care of each other um, and how, you know, Amos went to the zoo every day to hang out with his friends and play, play with his friends. And then when he was too sick to go to the zoo, they returned the favor. So think about um, how you can bring joy to someone else or how you can help them this week. I want you guys to listen to the Monday morning message to um, hear about this week's weekly challenge. And it does have to do with this book. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful evening and sweet dreams.